This is Stephen Brown with the Lee County Extension Service in Southwest Florida. Palms here are a critical part of the landscape and looking at these, we have problems. You can see up there that the canopies are basically, well, they're dying. No other way to say it. And in order to figure this out, I have to reach up top or someone does and take leaf samples and then send them to the lab, the plant disease clinic up in Gainesville for analysis. So let's see what's going on. Now he's maneuvering to get to the right leaf and he's got to make sure that he takes a certain, a particular type of leaf and he knows what to do. He's a trained arborist. Before I forget, I want to thank Lee County DOT for helping me out in this. Without them, there's no way I could have gone that high. We have to cut particular leaves. If you take a look at this, you can see on the petiole right here, it's a little close up here, a strip of dead tissue right here. On one side, we have dead tissue. On the, no the other side, we have still living tissue. Follow it up carefully now. And the leaf blade right here on the side of the dead petiole, well, it's dead. And on this side, we still have life. Flip it over. Okay, if you take a look at this cross section of the petiole, you can see a dark discolored tissue right here indicating that the tissue is dying or dead. And on this side, it corresponds to the living tissue on the patio. So this is what I'm gonna send up. Be careful, by, uh, by the way, of these teeth on the patio. So this is what I'm gonna send up, portion of this, to the lab at the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center for analysis. Believe it or not, it has been six months since I've been here last. And I wanted to give it some time so that you can see the progress of the disease on the Washingtonian. The big question is, what is the disease? Is it fusarium wilt or rachis slash petiole blight? And I have the answer here. It is petiole slash rachis blight. And many people confuse the two diseases, the fusarium wilt and the rachis blight, as being, in many cases, the fusarium itself, which is the more deadly disease. So let's take a look at the rachis blight. We're gonna move the camera right up top. Okay. Okay, now we're looking up at the top. What do I need to say about rachis blight? First of all, it doesn't, in most cases, kill the palm. These Washingtonians, after six months, are pretty much stabilized, but they don't look good. So what to do? Obviously, you can remove the dead fronds. Just clip them off, but when you do this, going from leaf to leaf, or a dead leaf to a newer leaf, don't forget to sterilize your instrument so that the cut doesn't get infected with the rachis blight. What else can you do? apply a fungicide to the growing point as a protectant so that you can reduce the spread of disease. Now, now it's going to take a couple of growing season even after the fungicide application for these palms to have a semblance of normal appearance and normal growth. So that's it. That's the lesson on rachis blight. Stephen Brown, Lee County Extension Service from beautiful Fort Myers, Florida.